So my name is Richard hughes Rollins. I'm the EMEA Regional Product Manager for the stationary printer family. That includes the desktop printers and the industrial printers. Today I want to tell you about the new desktop printer, the entry-level value tier ZD200 series printer. At the entry level, price is often a very important factor, but you don't have to give up on features or performance with Zebra. It's built to the same standards, the same quality, and in the same factories as the rest of the Zebra printer range, including the ZD400 and the ZD600 series. So let's take a look at the printer in comparison with the GC420. The ZD220 is replacing the GC420, so let's take a look at the two printers. The first thing you notice is the color. Uh, clearly, uh, the GC uh, is in the older style colors that we used from some years ago, uh, whereas the ZD200 series uses the new brand look and feel. In terms of the user interface, what you see on the GC is a single control that integrates the LED, uh, whereas on the ZD, those are separated out into a separate feed and LED status indicator. The power button is on the front of the ZD and on the rear of the GC. Let's open them up and have a look on the inside. You see the use of yellow again on the ZD to indicate those areas you're meant to touch. The roll holder and media guide are one integrated component on the ZD. As you open the printer up, the roll holder moves and the media guide moves. On the GC, there are two independent uh, movements. So you have to adjust both the roll holders and the media guides on the side uh, to set it up for any given media. So from that point of view, the ZD is easier to use. The GC has a single sensor fixed position in the center of the media, whereas the sensor on the ZD220 is adjustable all the way from the center of the media out to the left-hand edge. So if you're using non-rectangular media, you can adjust the sensor to correctly position the label.